Hello my dear students how is your life going i believe that it's going smooth well i'm also doing well and first of all let me tell you a big thanks for giving me a nice response after your class and one more thing i would like to tell you that all the activities you have sent to me was really really good and impressive keep it up and i'm expecting such a response in the coming classes also i hope that you read your book well and you understood the story till what we discussed see our story was let me recall you to the story who did patrick's homework i believe that you remember our hero patrick who was a lazy boy to do homeworks am i right patrick was a boy who hates to do homeworks for him doing homework is such a boring activity okay and instead of doing homework he loves one thing what it is he loves to play badminton and another games so he loves to play but he hates to do do a uh, homeworks so i have already told you that many children would be like that maybe your friends maybe you who hates to do homeworks but loves to play isn't it see listen and when we come across the story of patrick one day do you remember one day he saw that his mouse is his i'm sorry his cat was playing with uh, something like a toy so when he took it from the uh, from the cat it was not a toy but it was an elf elf do you remember i asked you i told you the malayalam word kutti chatten i think you might have searched for maya we looked up he and all to see a real elf so it was an elf but neatly dressed with a nice hat and a woolen shirt and trousers and all and when he got that elf the elf was crying pleading begging to patrick what was that uh, request please save me from the cat otherwise the cat will kill me and eat me and one more promise he gave what was the promise do you remember ah uh, the happiest promise for patrick what was it i will do anything what you ask it is my word so he utilized patrick really utilized that uh, chance and he asked one request what was the request do you remember ah uh, you have to do my homeworks till the semester gets end okay he asked do his homework for him so my dear elf what you want you know you have to do the work for me isn't it so what was the reaction of the elf ah uh, elf also almost same as the patrick or same as you elf also hates to do homework so do you remember his face changed with a hate a hated was there on his face and he said oh what a job you have given me but anyway i have already given you a promise so he agreed so dear patrick i will do the homeworks for you so they got uh, uh, such an agreement till his semester gets end the uh, elf will do all the homeworks for for patrick then patrick will get a plus for all the subject and what to say my dears about the happiness of patrick he was jumping and dancing by saying yes all my problems are solved he thought isn't it so you also may think that i'm i'm sure i'm very much sure that you also may think that oh my god if i also get such an elf to do my homeworks isn't it or if i get such an elf to Uh, to help me to complete all my wishes can you think about such an elf if you get an elf and if you are asking the elf elf now i want a a chicken biryani and the biryani is ready elf i want a basket full of chocolates chocolate is ready if it is dairy milk silk whatever it is it is ready in front of you and if you have an exam imagine and when you are sitting in the exam hall you are asking the elf my dear elf come here and write exam for me and if the elf is writing exam if the uh, uh, elf is helping you to complete your homework so every word he is there for you can you imagine how lucky you will be
So Patrick also thought that I am the luckiest man in this world. Why? Because he will do, the elf will do all my homeworks. But there is a twist. What is that twist? Do you want to see? So please take page number nine. Well, now let's see what happened next in the life of a Patrick. Will you please request you to take your textbook page number nine and the same thing when I read just follow me with the tip of your finger. Ready? Page number nine, fifth par means first paragraph. And true to his word that little elf began to do Patrick's homework. So he kept his promise. The elf started to do Patrick's homeworks in every evenings. Except there was one glitch. Ah, this is the call, this is the twist I told you earlier. A glitch. Glitch means a small problem was there. What was the problem? The elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help. See, elf. As we know that elf didn't go to, uh, he didn't go any colleges or any schools and all. So he didn't know anything about textbooks and literature, maths or whatever it is, isn't it? So he always needed help. And he always say what? Help me, help me. He would say every time he was saying the same thing. What? Uh, Patrick, Patrick, help me, help me. And Patrick would have to help in whatever way means in different ways Patrick had to help him so what kind of help you want to know isn't it let's move to the next paragraph I don't know this word the elf squeaked while reading Patrick's homework okay so they started doing homework one evening Patrick gave the notebook and elf started to do his work so after reading the work what he said the elf squeaked squeaked means cried said loudly what i don't know this word so maybe it would be in english in english homework and he asked that i don't know this word who didn't know this word ah oh, the elf didn't know the meaning of this word so while reading patrick's homework he cried the elf cried get me a dictionary who said the elf said get me a dictionary no, what's even better, look up the word and sound it out by each letter. Ah, Patrick is so brilliant. So what he said actually, uh, the elf said that, I don't know the meaning of this word, just give me, just please go and take a dictionary. Then what he said, Patrick is brilliant and Patrick is lazy too to go to the library and take a dictionary and searching for the words, it's a heavy job. So he said that, don't worry, if you want the meaning or if you want to read the word, just go through the spelling. That's what he said. Look up the word and sound it out by each letter. For example, how it's like that, you know, if it is F-A-T-H-E-R, then how will you read it? And this letter we know, F, fa the uh, father. So in the same manner, he said that, go through the spelling and read it. And I don't, I cannot take a dictionary for you, he said. Then, so now, uh, who has to do all the works? Elf has to. Then later what happened? Next paragraph. When it comes to maths, ah, Patrick was out of luck. Patrick didn't have, has the same, didn't have the same luck before. Why? It was maths subject. Max did what happened. What are timetables? The elf shrieked, shrieked all the same, cried, means asked loudly, what are timetables? I don't know, what are timetables? The elf shrieked. The elves never need that because timetables and all elf didn't use, elf hasn't used in his life before. So he didn't know what are timetables. So he asked it to Patrick, Patrick, what are timetables? Next to page, page number 10. An addition and subtraction and division and fractions. What are they? I don't know. Patrick, help me. Who said? The elf said, 
do you know addition subtraction division fraction and all huh? yeah, i think uh, you know well because you are such a brilliant student i know well anyway the elf didn't know anything so the elf cried and asked what these are i don't know here sit down beside me you simply must guide me so elf demanded if you want to do this homework you have to do one thing what patrick come and sit beside me sit with me and guide me means help me to do your homework elves know nothing of human history to them it is a mystery ah who didn't know anything the elf uh, uh, doesn't know anything about about history of human means what all the things found by human for the elf no idea about maths about science whatever it is the elf didn't have any idea about that and for elf the history is a mystery mystery means what something unknown something strange something different so i don't know anything so please sit with me and let us do the work together so the little elf already a shouter already he speaks louder and and then what happened just go louder again he started speaking louder go to the library i need books what he said a louder go to the library patrick i need books i want books he said more and more books not one or two more and more books i want and you can help me read them too and don't think that your job will be over if you bring a book but you have to help me to read it i don't know how to read so please bring a number of books and help me to read and help me to solve the homework clear what is going on see before patrick thought that the elf will do all the homeworks at the same time patrick can play but what happened uh patrick also had to help him had to read a lot of books and have to help him to complete the work what happened the same page paragraph 7 as a matter of fact every day in every way that little elf was a nag nag means a disturbance why every day every evening this elf is a disturbance we thought that the elf will be a helpful thing but it became a disturbance why ah uh, because the elf is always calling always crying i want that book i want this book what is subtraction what is division a lot of questions patrick you do this you do that a lot of things so a disturbance nag patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag a drag means what a drag means something dull and uninteresting so he was working harder more than before and like a uh, uh, drag means i told you without any interest he had to work he was staying up nights he couldn't sleep early in the morning so he was just staying up at the nights sleepless had never felt so weary weary means tired and was going to school with his eyes puffed and bleary so he was sleepless at night and when he was going back to school in the morning because of sleepless nights his eyes were puffed puffed means a bit, little bit became huge in size puffed and bleary means dim gloomy why because he was sleepless if you didn't sleep a night for example if you were playing games throughout the night and in the morning if you are going to school everybody will ask what happened why because your eyes says that you didn't sleep well and it became puffed and bleary eighth paragraph finally so actually let me ask you a question now who is working hard the elf or patrick actually we planned that the elf will do all the works and patrick will be free but what happened actually now the elf is doing very little work and patrick was doing hard work isn't it so he became sleepless but at last the result paragraph 8 finally the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go because the agreement over the elf had to help him till the semester gets end 
so the class over so the agreement also over then what then it's a time for the elves free to go as for the homework where was no more there was no more homework because school is over homework is over so the elf is free then the elf will go or not what do you think certainly what happened later let's see <clears throat> and as per homework there was no more so he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door through the back door quietly without making any sound secretly and slyly slyly means in a tricky way without saying anything and nobody seen him so quietly slowly he went through the back door who else escaped then the result of patrick we are going to see ninth paragraph patrick got his a's means a plus his classmates were amazed oh my god patrick he was a lazy boy and how he got a plus for all the subjects a grade for all the subjects so amazed amazed means wonder and his teachers smiled and were full of praise and the teachers started smiling at him do you remember before the teachers were telling him what a what a bad boy you are why don't you do homeworks if you're not doing homeworks your future will be worse so the teacher uh, didn't uh, smile even smile at him that was his condition but now all the teachers started to smile at him whenever they are seeing him a happy smile and not only smile was there then what a full of prize praising ah praising also they were giving wow well done you are the model of the school you are such a wonderful boy a lot of praising words and maybe also have got some prizes also mean some gifts also isn't it then and his parents can you imagine can you think what will be the reaction of his parents before the parents were fed up with this boy but now what happened let's see they wondered what had happened to patrick oh my god what happened to my son they were thinking he was now the model kid he is the best child he is the best boy in this area so we are proud to say that we are the parents of patrick then and cleaned his room and did his chores and was cheerful never rude like he had developed a whole new attitude what happened he cleaned his room ah some other changes also happened knowingly or unknowingly with the help of that l he did all his homeworks very nicely and one, one more thing was there he cleaned his room very neatly very well and did his chores chores means what his everyday activities like uh, brushing taking bath and reading studying cleaning and all such activities also he started doing nicely perfectly on time and was cheerful happy always and not always being lazy before he was always sitting in such a manner lazy sitting in the corner of a chair and not doing anything it was before but now cheerful happy energetic he was like you and never rude rude means i never talk in a bad manner with others when a mother or father or the teacher is saying something just saying opposite to them such a habit he doesn't have now he is very nice to everyone like he had developed a whole new attitude actually knowingly or unknowingly our patrick became a new person a new personality he made a new attitude what is attitude a type of personality a view about life so he became completely a new person a gentle man a perfect student who became a elf how with the presence of the elf so totally i told you he is changed and now patrick was not a hero when we started the story but now who is a hero 
Patrick itself. He became the superstar of the school, superstar in his house and superstar in his surroundings. So the best kid. Maybe his uh, friends in their friends' homes, their parents are saying, why you are studying like this? Can't you see Patrick, how nicely he is doing all works, how nicely he is passing all the exams? So he became a model for all the students. Tenth paragraph, last paragraph. You see, in the end, Patrick still thought he would made that tiny man do all his homework. Actually, the last graph, uh, paragraph is the words of Carol Moore. Carol Moore told you in the beginning, in the previous class, the writer. The writer is saying something to you, okay, or to us. Uh, in this last paragraph, the writer is saying something to you. What it is? You see, in the end, my dear children, do you see in the end, Patrick still thought he would make that a tiny man do all his homework. Ah, at the end of the story also Patrick was thinking anyway I became a hero only because of the elf the elf did all the work for me the elf did all the homeworks for me who thought Patrick thought still he was thinking like that but I will share a secret ah, who is sharing a secret the writer is sharing a secret with you so keep it as a secret. What is the secret? Just between you and me. Don't tell to Patrick and don't tell to others. It is a secret between you and me. Between you and the writer. What is the secret, you know? What is it? Uh, it was in the elf. Patrick had done it himself. What was the secret? The secret was actually the Patrick done his home. Patrick did all his homeworks, not the elf. The elf, the Patrick, th Patrick thought that all the works were done by the elf, but it is not true. Actually, the secret is all the works are done by Patrick himself and the elf didn't do anything. That's a secret. Here the story ends. So what do you think? The writer is correct. The secret is correct. Who did actually hard work? The elf or Pat? Tell me. Tell me louder. Who did the work clearly, nicely? The elf or Patrick? Yes. Our hero itself, Patrick. He did all the homeworks. And what do you think? What you got from the story? What is the moral of the story? See, you may think that I am not such a wise child. I am not such a brilliant child. I cannot get uh, A plus in every subject. I cannot do this work. I cannot do that. I cannot be like him. Lot of excuses you may have. Lot of what uh, uh, problems you may have. But it is a true that. It is a fact that if you work hard, you can complete, you can fulfill your dream. If you work hard, if you are ready to do, if you are ready to work hard, you can complete it. You will get A plus for all the subject. You can do that. You can do this. You can do anything what you want and you can reach your aim. You may have a lot of fame. I want to become a police officer. I want to become a film actor like Dulka Salma. And I want to build a huge house. I want to buy a new car, a new bike. A lot of aims are there. And I want to be the best student of the school. A lot of aims. You can, you can, you can do it. But one condition, work hard. If you are ready to work hard, you can do anything. So that is the story tells. That the story tells to you. And health, this elf became just a reason for uh, Patrick's hard work. So I hope that it is very much clear to you. So read the story very nicely three or four times. And I would like to give you a small interesting activity. My dear superstars, the work that you want to do is if you get an elf as your friend, if you get an elf as your best friend, what all the things will you do with him? See, the elf has supernatural power. He has the power to do anything for you. So write a minimum five sentences 
about what will you do with the help of an elf okay minimum five sentences and one more small activity in page number 11 there are six questions the answers are there in the textbook in the chapter what you want to do is read the textbook nicely two or three times and read the six questions and find out the answers from the text yourself that is possible with you uh, before i told you hard work so it is possible you can find the answers yourself and write it in the notebook take a picture and send me through google classroom so that's all for today meet you in the next class thank you and bye